on set figuring out what lenses they're using um, pretty consistently. So I knew that I knew what lenses were used throughout the movie. I just didn't know how it was all going to be pieced together. So it was pretty startling to see that much sort of wide angle. Um, but I knew that pretty much every master was going to be in that wide angle. So it was just it was fun to just and the music and the way and the chapters. That was the chapters weren't originally there. That was new and it was just it, there was it was fascinating. Uh, question, Joe. Mm -hmm. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it was brilliant. No, you know what? Uh, I, from reading the script and being there on the days that we were there, uh, you could sense this, you know, uh, insane world that the characters were a part of, and, and the madness of that. But what I found really powerful was the things that I wasn't there to see being filmed, and these three leading ladies' performances, which were actually very tragic and heartbreaking, in amongst that, um, and how sad it was, and, and the emotion that came from that. So that was. Uh, the big takeaway from me is that that's something that I wasn't witness to on set. I loved it too. Um, <laughs> yeah, like uh, M said, I or and Nick, I was aware when you're there. I knew you were using these kind of fish eye lenses, but didn't really uh, get the full impression of what that was going to look like until obviously I saw it. So I knew he was creating a slightly skewed vision, but I had no. There was obviously no looking at the monitor or, or nothing. That. So until I saw it on, on the screen and with these chapters and with the music, it was all, um, it was all new to me. Yeah, I had no idea what then to say were using. I watched it and I was like, wow, cool! <laughs> 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 <laughs>